Hello guys and welcome to my new YouTube video. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how to install uh, Windows 10 on a Toshiba laptop, that's Toshiba Satellite L700 N50. And we're gonna, uh, I was just gonna walk you through the process how to install a Windows 10 on it. So first of all, we have to switch it on. We'll get to the BIOS, which is CX2. And now, once we are in the BIOS, we want to go to boot tab, and we have to make sure that the CD DVD drive is set up with the first item. So you can do that by uh, using F5 or F6 key to move it up and down. So we'll just move it up by F6 key. And now we can see that the your CD drive is the first one. So that means that system will start booting from it. And all you have to do now is to save uh, save changes into your BIOS settings. So we are going to click an option, exit saving changes. It will ask us for the confirmation. We are clicking yes to that. And now your system will start from booting up from the from the from the optical drive. You should be able to see that happening in a second. Yep, that's it. We are clicking on the key, might be enter. Um, and now Windows is starting booting up from the from the optical drive. And that's where our Windows 10 installation is starting. We have a bit. Of, uh, we have a little spinning wheel, just uh, moving a while. And now we've got our uh, language options. So here you are choosing the language you want to you want your operation system to be installed in then like your time and currency format and keyboard or input method I'm just pulling up to United Kingdom because that's where I'm living so I will just click next and now we are clicking the install now button but before you will do that just make sure uh, you don't have anything on your laptop that you're not prepared to lose so make sure that you just uh, back up all your data because basically from this point on, uh, we'll go to uh, setting up the uh, partitions on the hard drive, and that will basically wipe all the data that you are having on your laptop. So yeah, we are just clicking the install now button now. So it's starting. And we've got the uh, Microsoft license term terms that we are just uh, simply clicking I accept the license terms that means you are just agreeing with whatever Microsoft is telling next button um, and now it's like it's depending what kind of laptop you are having over there uh, some laptops might be having the uh, like pre-installed operating system the procedure I'm showing you now will um, uh, you now uh, will, will show you how to um, how to install the system from the scratch so we're not using any like uh, cover partition or anything like that we'll just wipe the whole thing out and install the clear system on it so yeah we're clicking custom install windows only and now we're moving all the partitions that are on the hard drive so whatever was there is just going and now we've got like a completely empty hard drive We'll create a new partition which will be which will have the size of the entire hard drive. Apply now. Um, Windows is telling us that it will create some additional partitions for this uh, for the system files, so it's absolutely fine. And now you can see that we have created the new partition. It's having 500 Max on it, and there's another one which is the full hard drive. Um, so I will click next at this point, and that's where Windows is. Uh, uh, copying the files. I'll just uh, stop the video at this point because it's quite it's quite a long process and I will come back to the show just after that. Yeah, so you can see that installation is progressing. It's like we've got 
uh, 17% of the files right now. Um, and that's the process where Windows is just copying everything to your hard drive. Like the entire operating system is just going there. Yeah, so we are now at the point where um, installation has reached 100% and Windows is just uh, moving to next steps, which is installing uh, features and updates. Once uh, it will go past this point, um, we'll be just uh, finalizing the installation and it will go further from that to the next screen. Now you will see this point where it's just uh, restarting itself, so we'll let it do it. And that's where your operating system is already halfway installed on your hard drive and you will just uh, proceed with another, another steps of installation. Yeah, we're just waiting at this point because we don't want to move. <coughs> we don't want to boot from the from the optical drive. Now your operating system is just loading from the hard drive for the first time. We've got a little spinning wheel on the bottom of the screen, which is indicating like there is something happening. Now Microsoft logo just reappeared again, so it's proceeding with uh, loading the system from the hard drive. Now we've got a message that uh, Windows is getting devices ready, so I presume it's installing some uh, additional services in order to get all the infrastructure inside your laptop working together. You just consult the reading from the from the optical drive. Yep, got a progress status. Yep, getting ready. See another screen soon. Now it just uh, turns to be a black screen, so there's definitely um, something going on just under the hood. Alright, the system just uh, restarted itself. We'll ignore reading from optical drive again because we want it to load from the hard drive. <coughs> Windows logo again, spinning wheel. Right, now it's telling us to connect to the uh, to connect to our internet, so we'll just do that. This one is mine. Um, it will ask us for a, um, for a network key, so I'll just quickly type mine. Verifying and connecting. Now, get going fast. Um, here are just uh, general settings. We can customize them or we can just use the express settings. So that's what I'll go with. At the moment, spinning wheel. And yeah, 
yes, I will Windows to status file. So now your web, uh, your operating system is just welcoming you. Uh, so it's telling like yeah, it's installed, and now we'll have a few more screens with uh, a couple of settings, and it should be it. It's like it should be it should be installed. We should have our new operating system on our PC by laptop. 